If I could create the future, it would definitely be a world where everyone got to live what they were passionate about. Well, I do this because I have to. It's, I do this because I love to. This is what I love to do. If everyone could find something they were passionate about and spend all day doing that, that's the world I would love to see. The routines of modern living, whether it be traffic, bills, you're always rushing to work, home, there's just so much stuff going on, it's pretty hard to really get away from it all. Being in the mountains and away from it all just really takes weight off your shoulders and allows you to feel the open space that nature has. I always wanted to spend my life skiing. All I cared about and all I dreamed about was skiing. Pretty much since the, my first trip to BC that I decided that's where I wanted to spend most of my time. It's really easy to get disconnected with with the natural world around you. And I think it's really important to get out back into that natural world. Traveling through BC is one of my favorite things in the world because you're always on. And uh, it's full, it's cowboy still. You're always on an adventure, you know? On a ferry, off a ferry into some cool ski town and then driving into the next one and all these little secret pow stashes that that we live for, you know? This is the Powder Highway up here. I'm walking out on the The sky's blue and my t-shirt's torn. You know, driving in BC is, is such an adventure. You know, hitting the open road and the views are incredible. It's just like skiing, you can't get bored driving up here. Getting here, you know, it's like awesome ski lodge, just a super deluxe five star style, so it's always nice. You know, you're going for the skiing, and that's your primary objective is to get good skiing, but I think what most people don't realize is when they get there, they, they're gonna learn more about themselves, they're out of their element, they're gonna learn about the mountains, the dangers of the mountains, and traveling the mountains safely, and all these other aspects that. Um, I think they're just to challenge your, yourself and make you better in your daily life. <laughs> the first time I had access to like bigger mountains, it was sort of falling in love with, with something I didn't expect to fall in love with. You're just attracted to it. After you get up in the morning, get ready, step out to the cat, and there's 25, 30 CMs in the ground and you just 
can't be more excited. You know you're going to go up there for some amazing runs and the, the first run of the day is going to be there within a few minutes. And so that feeling is, of excitement is, is amazing. It's got to be the best feeling when you get out and got your skis on. You're just out there in the mountains and you know, you got a wicked run below you. There's nothing quite like that. When we pulled up to Island Lake, it was just puking and they just did a god of like a foot or more and it's still just dumping outside. You know, there's not even a question in your mind of how good the, the day is going to be. It's great when you're skiing the trees and your buddies, you know, everything's happening so fast. You're, you're kind of racing each other in and out of the trees, back and forth, trying to just go as fast as you can. Tree skiing is so fun to do with friends because you're always weaving back and forth through each other and you catch a glimpse of someone here and then they're gone the next second. Like mocking down a run, ripping through the trees, dodging each other, boosting little airs, that's really what it's all about. The best part for me about skiing pow is just the effortlessness. And the fact that you can go so much faster and it's so forgiving. You can be in the trees when it's full pow and be going as fast as you want because you know it's soft. There's nothing quite like being able to glide down fresh snow over what in the summertime would be an unnegotiable landscape. It's like gliding on a cloud. There's just nothing quite like it. Going through different trees, hitting different obstacles, and then all of a sudden you all meet down at the bottom and give a round of high fives and just want to go back up for another one. Catski is pretty unique in the way that you actually get a chance to sit down in between your laps, take your 15 minutes and talk about either the run or the next run or what you guys want to do and you really get a chance to reflect on not only what you're doing and how lucky you are to be there, uh, but you get to hang up and have a good time. Trees at Island Lodge are, are amazing. They have these super long bladed corridors, so you can see pretty far down your run. You're not limited to a thick spot of trees where you have to slow down. You can just mob deep powder for their whole runs all the way to the bottom. Island Lake Lodge is located just outside Fernie, which is southeastern BC at the southern end of the British Columbia Rockies, and it's pretty renowned for deep, deep powder. The storms come through there and just get stuck at that part of the Rockies and just dumps and dumps and dumps, and it's been known for years and years for that reason. You know, we pound through the grind in the city every day. I think it's, we all owe it to ourselves to get out into these open spaces and, you know, enjoy the natural environment around us. Island Lake is such a legendary spot because it's just a place where all the, the old schoolers had at it. And Scott Schmidt and Craig Kelly used to ride there and had a great time. So it still is a great place to do that. Good time to hang with your buddies. Lodge life is pretty easy to get used to. Come into this amazing setting with these amazing log buildings in the mountains, hot tubs, beers, like some of the best food you could think about eating. And that's after you've had this amazing day. So to wind down with that, it's, it's uh, such a good time.
there's nothing better after an amazing day of skiing than coming back to an amazing lodge with amazing food, good people, and just an awesome apre scene. Those are the days that we all dream about. Micah is the kind of place where uh, dreams can come true. The way you get to Micah Lodge is it's a beautiful drive, kind of north, northwest from Drevelstoke. And then you stop and the heli bumps you the rest of the way to this lodge. I mean, you fly in with the heli, right? Typically, expectations are bad to have, but I certainly had them, and they're exceeded within a minute in the bird. Lodge is just perched in the most perfect spot. It, it just couldn't get any better. Yeah, you definitely feel out here and not, not close to much uh, civilization. Mike has been on my list for a long time, like probably every skier out there. They've seen the pillows, they've seen the powder. And uh, as a skier, it's, it's the pinnacle of a place to come to heli ski. Mica is the ultimate ski vacation. They definitely go out of their way to uh, make sure your first impressions are all time spectacular. Riding in glorious light over the lake to this incredible overlooking lodge. Yeah, ever since I started going to lodges, I always heard about Mica Heli. Mica Heli, that's so sick, you gotta get out there. And so, when you guys called me off, like, hell yeah, I want to go to Micah's. This terrain is filled with billions of pillows, steep lines, and everything seems to be pretty packed in tight together. Like, you can get really amongst it in a snap. Micah fully lived up to all the hype. The terrain at Micah is like right in the middle of coastal style mountains and the rocky style mountains. We can see the rocky mountains and we can also see the Selkirks and the Monashies and 
from one to the other, it changes quite quickly. So right here, being right in the middle of it all, the snow stacks up really well. It's, it's the perfect uh, density for pillows and spines. It also tends to have lower pow. The terrain at Mike is so diverse. There's really something here for every skier. And I think people that come here, you know, just find what they're looking for. They find that dream line and they achieve these goals that they didn't really think that they were capable of achieving. One moment I'll definitely remember is the first time getting dropped off by a heli at the top of the peak. Ended up making it down to the bottom of, of this huge line that was what at that point I thought was beyond my ability and like got to the bottom of the run and just like had so much excitement come out of me that I just like let out this big yell and like something I'd never done before you know and that was something I'll definitely remember for uh, for the rest of my life. It's amazing how much goes into being in the place that you want to be at. You know, the daily routine, the, the work, or whatever you've done in your life to achieve a goal. Once you're actually at that goal, you only really have that moment to surround yourself in, in that experience and everything that is built up to that one little tiny experience that you'll remember forever. All of a sudden you're on top of it and when you're waiting up there you get uh, kind of nervous and scared but then once it all goes down you can't ask for any more. We just got back. You just got a sick line and super stuck. Here we are back at the lodge. Now we're gonna have some sweet dinner and we wake up to a nice day tomorrow. This place is all time for film lines, for pow, for good skiing, for good guys, incredible food. It's skiers heaven. There's a really, really good balance of awesome action, this really cool relaxation, good food, good people, good times, vibe. It's just 
kind of hard to explain how much detail goes into one little aspect that you'll remember forever. I think it's pretty easy to get caught up in the daily grind of life and all these stresses that we have. To get to go to these places and get away from it and get away from whatever it is that's kind of bothering you or keeping you busy or distracted or whatever, you know, you can get to these locations and just kind of put it all away and just focus on having an adventure, having fun, being there with your friends. And, and when you're there, that's all you have to worry about. Island Lake and Micah are two of the best places to ski in the world. So if you haven't been, you gotta go.